everyone and welcome back to my channel um did you miss me i hope you did um i'm back um now i'm going to have a go at my mini art journal page if you're new and you haven't no you hadn't uh seen that there's a uh i've got what we call it now woolly steph's art club i think um we're making little art journal pages once a fortnight if you want to join in please do i'll try and leave uh, a link in the description box to um how you can you know what we're doing um there's a prompt every two weeks and also it shows you how to or i'll show you how to make a little album if you want to make an album but you can do it any size you can do it your way you don't have to do all the prompts you can do whatever you like now this uh, week's prompt is vintage so what i've done is this is my piece of mixed media paper and it's four by four inches and I'm just going to, she says, I've got some different sort of vintage style washi tape. So I thought I'd just start by sticking some of those down. Uh, let's just rip that off a bit. Um, maybe I'll just stick that on there. Like that, not going to worry about it too much, she says. But I'm going to cut that little bit off there because I could use that for something else. Right, it doesn't really matter if you've got a bit of a wrinkle in it because it all adds to the texture, doesn't it? Anyway, that goes on there like that. Let's have a little bit of that. Let's have it like that. Since it's got a square edge, we might as well accommodate it like that. Right, I don't really have a plan, so just picked out some different vintage style um, washes thought I'd start there I like this one it's got all sorts of animals and birds and things on it not doing the grandest job getting it on there um, what's this one I see, I see, I see. Like bits of postcard, I think. I like that bit. Oh, so I like that bit that I've just torn. That bit. Maybe I should cut it. Maybe we can still use it. Let's have a look. So what I am going to do, it's got a white edge on it for some reason. Oops. I'm going to try and just trim the top and bottom because I don't really want that white edge. depending on where it goes it might be quite visible right uh, she says let's pop it up there you can see where I've torn it there but let's just burnish it and hope that it's not gonna hurt right I don't think I want any more of that I can go back on the roll got these now these are really pretty little stamp one the stamp washi oh she says just ripping them not doing very well today out of practice that's what it is some of these are quite sweet I like that bird one so I think I might have a go at I don't really want the colors of the others for this project so I'm going to take the bird with the green I'm gonna pop those ones back on the roll for another time and pop that on there my gut instinct was to put it in the top right hand corner but i'm not going to do that right so far so good um do i want a bit of gesso on that i might i might do i can't reach into my gesso because it's coming to the end I'll put a bit on there so I want to use my finger and I might just sort of blend in the edges a bit just so it doesn't look quite so harsh hope everybody's been okay um, we've just come back from Cornwall we've been there for a week which was very nice we had fabulous weather can't uh, can't crumble at that. A couple of wet days, but 
Um, I think back ho back home it's been a lot worse. So. Yeah, that's been very pleasant. We know that's what we needed anyway as a family to get away a bit. Well, I think I might just put some over there. It's a little on there. So it just feels a bit harsh that colour. Right, let's let's leave that to dry for a minute. Uh, I'll clean my spatula at my finger. I want to add a bit of colour. Let me just dry that. Right, I'm going to get rid of some of this stark white with um, some distress oxide in antique linen. Just to give it a bit more of an aged look. Down there. Yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? And I might introduce some colour to it. Not too much. I don't know. Mm. Don't really know what colour. Do you know what? I'm going to go cracked pistachio. I think. Hopefully I won't regret this. She says. Right. Don't want too much. Just a bit of colour. I'll probably end up ageing it with something. Right, not looking too shabby. I do have, and I was looking for like my Tim Holtz um, dolls. I'm looking for one of the small, oh hang on, which of the, I think I've separated them into size. So these are the smallest ones. Let's see if there's anybody in there we fancy using. She's quite a character. Um, oh boy with his doggy. Is she the same girl? I didn't know I've got two of them. Is she a different size? Or oh, she is a very slightly different size. I've no idea how many I've got of these things. I seem to have hundreds of them. Uh, I was going to look for some wings now. Did I bring some over? Yes, I did. But are they going to be too big? Let's look and see. I quite like her with those. I think she looks good. Do we want her? we do only because she's not got something in her hands she's got her hands down I think that looks better next time young lady you will get used let's put you back in bear with me while I try and stuff these people back in their packet since I've spent ages sorting them out into their various sizes Oh my goodness, go in. Somebody's leg sticking out, ballerina's leg. Go on in. Right. So we could have something like that somewhere. What else have we got? I've got tons of sort of bits of ephemera and things. These are kind of washi stickers. I think, I mean, they're very pretty. Oh, look at that rabbit. That's so cute. <laughs> Some beautiful, beautiful... I should use these more, shouldn't I? That's quite a nice... That's got caught on there. I don't know if I want to use them or not. I mean, they're gorgeous. Oh, my, there's so many butterflies. Right, let's put that there. And I've got these, which are the Tim Holtz. These are paper... Let me pop these away, or at least out the way. Running out of space. Right, let's have a look in here, see if there's anything. Oh, let's get them all out, or more or less. Some 
tiny oh tiny little tickety things here or something tomato soup glycerin lotion that could be quite useful that looks like the same sort of that's quite nice but i think it's a bit dominating i think some of these things were a little bit big for this piece perfect attendance certificate yeah i think it will overshadow what we've got quite like the vintage tape measure so i might use a bit of that goodness me really must use some of this stuff up this is ridiculous some beautiful things right let's have a look key i think i'll keep one of those out keep those i think the rest can go back do i want the number do i want this i quite like that i'm going to leave it out right let me just move this out of the way i'll pop them away later or will I? I'm just going to shove them in the packet. Because I know how clumsy I am. They're just going to end up on the floor. And there we go. Right, I think I'm going to... I like that because it's kind of got some of the same colours in. I like that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I might have to pop her up on something. And I like this. Maybe I'll just have a little bit of that down the down the edge of the page, not quite down the edge of the page. Maybe we'll go like that. Right, let's get some glue before I overthink this. Oh, I can tell I haven't used my glue for a week. <laughs> the lid doesn't want to come off. Oh. Here we go. know how much glue we require that really ought to go back in the packet Cover up my birds, but I don't really know. Maybe I don't need that, or maybe it could go like that. Do you know what I might do? I might just uh, get the old frayed burlap out. age it up a little bit it's looking a little young sorry I've forgotten what I was going to do with it now something like that right now this needs something because it's got white edges which I don't like come here let's try and put some Vintage photo, not vintage photo, frayed burlap. I don't like vintage photos so much. You find it, it's a bit orangey, but that's just my personal take. What I don't have is the dark one, the dark like walnut stain, or um, I think is it espresso or something like that. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different range, but I could perhaps do with something like that. Anyway. Oh, come back, young lady. I think I'm going to pop her on there. I don't want to raise her up a little bit. I could do, couldn't I? Or I could put it on flat and go round it with a pen. 
I don't want it to be too. I think I'll just. I think I'm just going to glue that on. I'm not worried about it. I don't want too much dimension because the last page, I think, or one of the last pages, is quite dimensional. And I don't. Yeah, that will do. I don't want to, um, to make my journal two dimensional anymore. It's getting quite full. We've still got a long way to go. Right, I'm just going to plonk her on the top like that. Do we want this anywhere? It's a crown trading stamp or something. Do you know what? I think I'm going to call that almost done. I'm going to go around the outside with a bit more of the frayed burlap just to give it a more vintage look. But I think that will do. Do I want any um, I don't want to use one of those words and say uh, vintage. I think it's quite obviously vintage. So put this on and it says keep going because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Keep going. And uh, that's all we, all we can do really, isn't it? Keep going. Oh, do you know what? Before I sit that on there, just to be a pain, I'm going to have a bit of this um, tape, I think. And I'm going to stick some on here like that. And maybe a little bit more underneath. Like that. And then I'm going to stick that on top. Keep going. And that's what I'm going to do. Keep on going. So, like I said, I'm back. Um, and um, I just want to keep on crafting, really, and share what I enjoy doing with, with everybody else. And that's it. So there is my vintage page from my art journal book so thank you for watching um if you guys want to if anybody wants to join in check out the links and uh, don't forget to use the hashtag that way we can all share and see each other's work so thank you very much for watching um, i will be back because i've got some more videos that i want to do and share with you so uh, see you very soon bye for now